Salesforce provides mobile debugging tools to help you more easily build, preview, debug, and test for mobile. With the Salesforce mobile app emulator built for Android, you can preview and debug your components and applications for mobile. This video demonstrates how quickly you can get the Salesforce app emulator build for Android installed and set up on your local machine. Here at the mobile debugging tool site on developer.salesforce.com, let's download the Android emulator. Click on the Android image and then click on the download button. You may be sent to this redirect site before your download begins. Once the APK file is completely downloaded, we can go ahead and close this browser. Let's bring up Finder and verify that my APK file has been downloaded. To view the Salesforce app for Android, you'll need to download and install Android Studio. Once it's installed, you can find Android Studio in the Launchpad. OK, let's now open up Android Studio. Click on Configure at the bottom, then click on AVD Manager, Android Virtual Device Manager. Let's create a new virtual device, and I'll choose the Pixel 3 XL because I like a larger screen. OK, let's click on Next. And now we're going to choose the API level. If you don't have an API installed, it'll ask you to download it. OK, click on Next. Okay, I want the emulator to be in portrait mode, and then we'll click Finish. Now I'll make sure I select the virtual device I just created, and I'll press Play. Now it'll create the emulator. You'll see it appear. And then it'll also start up the Google services on the emulator for you. Let's get the Android Studio and AVD Manager out of the way. OK, now let's swipe up and see the home screen. Now I'll drag the APK file over to my emulator. OK, now I can see the Salesforce app. Let's go ahead and open it. Once it opens, it brings up the end user license agreement. I'll hit Agree. Now it brings me directly to the login page, and I can log in as I normally would on device. I'll type in my username and then my password and log in. Now I'll go ahead and verify my identity, and then click on Allow Access. And now I have access to the Salesforce mobile app. Now I can preview and debug my components and applications, and I can link up Chrome DevTools to get more detailed information. Thanks for watching this video on how to install and set up the Salesforce mobile app simulator for Android. Be sure to like this video, hit subscribe, and click that bell for notifications every single time we post a video.